Thomas, I don't got all day here. Let's get a move on. People are scared. We need to get this one. Follow me. Body's this way. Ugh, I'm getting too old for this. You gotta crouch to get under the tape. Come on, let's go. Body's rotten as we speak. The patrolman on duty said there was a mannequin involved, just like the matchmaker. Old damn city's crawling with sick killers. God, and why do they always have to kill in such maggot-infested dumps? Why can't they pick a nice spot without addicts and gang members for once? Some place not so damn dark. Jesus H. Nearly shot the bastard. Whew. Come on, this place is creeping me out. Your stupid car broke my light. Better turn yours on. I hear you're afraid of the dark. One fourteen. One fourteen. Report in. Have the feds arrived? Becker here. FBI on the scene. Over and out. Copy that. Agent Thomas, this is Officer Becker. Becca found the body on patrol. Agent? Jeez, sick bastard. Thomas. This is Lieutenant Rosa. I'm your lab tech again on this one. Our wireless data transfer system enables you to investigate and collect evidence at the scene of the crime, and transmit it to me for analysis. When I have results, I'll contact you via your cell phone. All right, let's get to work. Let's start by determining the cause of death. When your instincts tell you evidence is nearby, prepare a forensic tool. The system will select the correct tool for you, so don't worry about that. and find the trauma point. It'll glow a bright purple. Just a sec. Hmm. Strangled by hand. Very forceful. Finger marks clear, except... Bruise intensity indicates the killer's right-handed and missing the index finger on that hand. There must be something more. Something we're not seeing. <sighs> The agent's laser works better in the dark. Processing image. That's it. The same mark. Exact same MO as the others? 
young women violently, poses them in grisly tableau with male department store mannequins. Mannequin always slightly disfigured by a mark on the face. Hmm. Any luck on the mug book searches? I bet the killer has the same mark. No luck so far. Becker, no smoking at a crime scene. I don't smoke. Well, someone was. It's coming from in here. Dang it. I can smell the cigarette smoke. He's right above us. Call for backup now. This is Officer Becker. We need backup immediately. Fourth and start. Potential homicide suspects still in building. Officers are on their way. ETA, 10 minutes. Copy that. Becker and I will head up the fire escape. You wait here for backup. Shit. Okay, now he's playing with us. Change of plans. Becker, secure that door. Thomas, check out the building and get these lights back on. All clear, Agent. Sooner we finish up here, the better. Let's go. Oh, and for Christ's sake, be careful. Federal agent, come out peacefully or I will use force. Fuck you! Oh yes, the city's full of them now, Thomas. Addicts, vagrants, psychotic individuals gone terribly bad. They come in all kinds, but mostly violent. Be careful.
Thomas, answer me! What's happened? We heard an explosion. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's just a fuse box shorted. I seem to be trapped over here, and I believe the suspect has my gun. What? How the hell did that happen? <sighs> here, take this fire axe and chop your way out. You can always find an entry tool somewhere around to get you past barriers. You can even use things like an axe or a sledgehammer as a weapon. They do a great deal of damage, but they're slow. Swinging a lead pipe bus heads faster if that's what you prefer. Thanks. Yeah, you need the tips. Becker and I'll go around the other way. Try and stay in one piece. Oh, and one more thing. If you find yourself in a sticky situation, use your taser to temporarily stun your target. If you're close enough, You'll find it a great way to disarm the slug of his weapon.
How does it feel to be on this end of the gun? But listen, you bastard. Don't mess this up for us. We are both on the same path of righteousness. Thomas! <coughs> and the path takes strange Freeze, turns. Police! Drop the weapon now! Be ready for death, Agent Thomas. It shall come visiting again. Hello, Ethan. Who are you? What is going on? Calm yourself. My name is Malcolm Van Horn. I was a great friend of your father's. Yes, I remember you. A long time ago, but why are you here now? Last night? Well, I was nearby. An unfortunate scene. You did your best, but it could not be helped. The detectives? They're dead shot with your weapon, and you will be blamed for their deaths. Ridiculous. I'll just tell them- What? Tell them the truth? They have already decided the truth. This is insane. I can't just give up the Bureau. It's already been taken from you. Now join me and help yourself. Open up. It's the police. Take your bag and head across to the metro station. I will meet you later. Agent Thomas, you know you're in there. Open up now. Ethan, you must trust me. I am here to help. Now go. You woke me from sleep. No, I don't know where Mr. Thomas is. What's your business here? My name is Malcolm Van Horn. I'm an old friend of the family. He invited me to stay here, but he must have forgotten I was arriving today. Well, please stand clear. We need to search the premises. God, I thought they would have suspended my lab access. They still might. It hasn't occurred to them yet. I didn't kill those guys. I know, Thomas. Well, I'm not certain what I do or don't know, but I'm pretty sure I still trust you. And that goes a long way. Understood. So, what about the photos? Well, no standing on ceremony then. Huh. It's a picture of you, Thomas. In your apartment. I remember that hideous sofa from last year's Christmas party. It had to have been taken from across the alley. From within the metro station? It appears so. I'm also seeing smudges across the face of the photo. Locate a good sample and transmit it to me. Shutterbugs who develop their own 
shots. Safer to develop your own. No record at the photo mats. So wait, these photos were processed here, somewhere within the station? That would be my guess. This is Thomas. It's Van Horn. Listen and be quiet. I don't have long. The police are now searching, or more properly destroying your apartment. They seem to have no faith in your innocence. But I am innocent. I know that. You must prove that. One more thing. You have a special talent, a gift that very few of us have. We haven't time to discuss this fully, but trust your instincts. Rely on them. Remain alert.
Thomas speaking. Ethan, it's Van Horn. How do you know this number anyway? I know many things about you, Ethan. Since your father's death, I've watched you, hoping that you would find your potential. My potential? Yes. You've become an excellent investigator. Not through training or luck, but instinctually. However, you'll find that you are capable of seeing so much more. Again with the instincts. They're a gift from, well, perhaps not from God. Remember, they can help you and others. Again, I must go. Be careful. Check on this one. Partial print. Doesn't match anything, but it's not much to work with. Keep looking.
Space Interpol. No record. I'll keep looking, though. Processing image. Interesting. Initial scan indicates 18 newspaper clippings, 11 from our own evening edition, 7 from nearby community papers, all with the same theme, serial killers. Most of them different, but all of them are cases you've worked on. Some have markings in a black felt tip pen. Still running frequency analysis on the markings to see if we can guess what they mean.